And I think you're right. I think we move on, often we move on too quickly from these things. And I think we've got to, for the, for the people, for the victims, for the survivors, but also trying to work out what happened. We've got yes. to make sure that happens. Because right now everyone is trying to blame everybody else. Everyone's saying, well, it was the cladding or it was the regulations. And do you know what? No matter what happened, Grenfell really is a symbol for the massive divide between rich and poor in Britain. And not Listen, just... I'm, I live in this, and my local MP for 25 years is Jeremy Corbyn. <clears throat> yeah. I've never once had a council rebate, mate. A ca you know what I mean? That just doesn't go on. Right. You know, you pay your council tax and it goes uh, to the people that need it. Yeah. We've ne never had a rebate. Do you know what I think is interesting? A lot of people thought, you know, Brexit, they didn't see Brexit coming, they didn't see Donald Trump being elected president, they didn't even see the rise of Jeremy Corbyn. And I think it all came from the same place. It came from people who were feeling neglected. They're doing it tough and they're feeling neglected and that's why they needed to have a voice. Nine, nine out of the ten poorest regions in Northern Europe are in Britain. Can you, I'm going to say that again. Nine of the ten poorest regions in Northern Europe are in Britain. I was kind of I was looking into that earlier, and do you yeah. know that most in those regions, the majority of them voted Tory. Yes. I found it absolutely baffling. It's like, kind of like voting to get punched in the face. <laughs> well, Kensington's the richest area in Britain with the lowest taxes, uh, but a lot of Kensington residents are foreign investors who don't pay very much tax, as it turns out. And the government might say that, yeah, but they keep the country afloat. But the people that lived in Grenfell Tower were taxi drivers, NHS employees, social workers, artists. They're the people that keep the country running. And this isn't about austerity, because these cuts... We know these cuts don't need to be made, and this isn't just me saying it. This is about a government who believe it's not their job to help people up when they've fallen down. And, and look, Nick Clegg said that when he was Deputy Prime Minister, and he couldn't remember, it was either George Osborne or David Cameron said to him, and just take this in, was said to Nick Clegg, I don't understand why you keep going on about the need for more social housing. Mm. It just creates Labor voters. <laughs> Do you know what doesn't create Tory voters? Up to 100 people dead in a fire because of mm. neglect. Mm. That, I mean, that is a remarkable quote and it's hard to believe anyone actually said it. It's up to us to make it OK. It's time to be positively rebellious and rebelliously positive. As long as we stand up for what we believe in, don't give in to anger or violence. Look out for the little guy. Keep an eye on the big guys. Refuse to keep our mouths shut and just generally try not to be dicks.